As you may already know, dual energy radiography is the imaging technique which takes advantage of the different and energy dependent absorption properties in the bone and soft tissue structures in the body. It captures two radiographic images in quick succession, one at a relatively low energy X-ray exposure and the second at a relatively high energy exposure. By taking images in this way, it's possible to mathematically derive a soft tissue only image with the bone structures removed and another corresponding bone only image. I have two examples of dual energy. There have been lots of studies that demonstrate the diagnostic benefits of dual energy imaging, especially in chest radiography. This imaging greatly improves the detection sensitivity for abnormalities in the lung. Because features which may have been tough to visualise on a standard chest radiograph become more obvious when the overlying rib structures are removed. This has proven to be especially helpful in finding infectious consolidations, interstitial lung changes or aortic or tracheal calcification. Dual energy imaging can also quantify certain material properties and this can help doctors assess bone abnormalities that can mimic solitary pulmonary nodules such as bone island, costochondral osteophytes or healing rib fractures. Historically, the two limitations of dual energy imaging which have restricted its widespread use is the increase in radiation dose required for two exposures and image blurring caused by a patient motion-induced misregistration between the high and low level energy image pair. But here's the good news. CareStream dual energy system have addressed both of these limitations. And here's how we did it. The key to achieving optimal dose efficiency in dual energy imaging is to maximise the separation of the energy spectrums between the high and low level energy images. This means for a specific dose to patient, greater dose efficiency means better image quality. CareStream dual energy technology uses an approach with two different filter materials. The filters are placed in front of the X-ray beam paths and automatically switch between the high and low level energy exposures. This differential filter approach optimizes the two X-ray spectrums. It also delivers excellent image quality at an equivalent patient exposure as a standard non-dual energy PHS radiograph. This is a massive breakthrough. By comparison, CareStream dual energy image quality is far superior when compared to the conventional approach. The time interval between the successive acquisition of the high and low level energy image pair is about one quarter of a second. But even with this rapid sequence, a slight degree of blurring can sometimes be seen at the reconstructed soft tissue and bone images linear edge structures, such as rib cages. This blurring effect is a, a slight residual misregistration between the high and low level energy images caused by a patient's heartbeat or involuntary respiration. <laughs> To address this issue, CareStream have developed a highly robust motion compensation algorithm which has proven to reduce patient motion-induced respiration artefacts. So, to summarise, now that the CareStream Evolution Plus imaging system has dual energy capabilities, it offers an important advancement in digital radiography. With its differential filtration image acquisition methodology, together with our highly robust motion compensation algorithm, CareStream now delivers dual energy digital chest X-ray imaging at the equivalent patient exposure as a standard single PHS radiograph while mitigating motion-induced blurring. We hope that you'll take a closer look at the CareStream Evolution Plus imaging system and ask us any questions that you may have. And thank you for listening.